Russian figure skater, winner of the strongest Spartaki 2024 Adelia Petrosyan, told how she feels about the performance of American figure skater Ilya Malinin at the 2024 World Championships. I watched his skate and just didn't believe that he was coming in and out every next jump. But the approaches there were still difficult, and I was simply surprised by every element. This is probably some kind of gift a person has that he also knows how to use. Very cool. It's interesting to watch him. Of course, I wish him health and strength to roll out such content. Pedersen said in an interview with Sport24. Earlier it became known that Pedersen took second place in the number of prize money earned during the season. The first position remained with the participant of the Olympic Games in Beijing Evgeny Semenenko. Two-time world and European champion in women's single skating, Russian figure skater of Genia Medvedeva, explained the popularity of figure skating in Russia. Figure skating, in fact, is popular not only in Russia. Yes, there are countries that are a little frozen in terms of figure skating. For example, in the United States, American football is a cult. Our cult is figure skating. Well, that's how it happened. Although in the USA there are the most talented skaters who are the best in the world. American Nathan Chen won the 2022 Olympics. Simply incredible. Yes, they have advertising contracts, they have income, but at the same time it is clear that figure skating, and in his person too, has not been elevated to such a cult as it is with us. Why is this happening? Well, probably because we are deliberately, that is, with an absolute understanding of the matter, developing the media side of sports. The same ice age is a huge contribution to the media development of figure skating. This is probably a trend over the last five years. Because even when I became an adult, I was 15 years old, let's say I won the Grand Prix stage, well done to you, they will publish it in the newspaper and film a story for a minute on the federal channel. And then the ice age began, and it was clear that the figure skating federation began to invest in development. Fan groups appeared and began to bring everything to the masses. It turned out to be such a web. And now, if you turn on channel 1, there are such stories about figure skating, we have such tournaments that are aimed purely at developing the media, at entertaining the viewer. Competitions of a completely new format are being invented to make it interesting for people. Why do people watch this? Because they are having fun, they are interested in this spectacle. Medvedeva said on the unsweetened business YouTube channel. World and European champion, Russian figure skater Alexander Galyamov, ironically responded to the words of the mayor of Paris, Anne Hidalgo, who said that Russian and Belarusian athletes would not be welcome in the city where the 2024 Olympic Games will be held. It turns out that the great Ernest wrote his great book during a period when there was no city hall in Paris. Everyone was happy, Galyamov wrote on his social networks. Let us remind you that the Olympic Games in Paris will be held from July 26 to August 11, 2024. In December 2023, the IOC allowed Russians to participate in competitions in a neutral status, subject to all criteria for admission and qualification for the tournament. Earlier, the IOC announced the creation of a special committee that will check the compliance of athletes with Russian passports with certain rules.